Shout out to the KJ fam. You're back once again rocking with Kristen and Jamil. And we're here again, you guys, for another cooking video. But not just any cooking video. What? Yes, today, you guys, Kristen and I are, well, actually, myself, by myself only, I am making apple pie nachos, guys. Not nachos, guys. It's just apple pie nachos. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh... The other day, yesterday, you guys probably saw our video where Kristen and I made the Sloppy Joe dip. Uh, we were supposed to make that for Super Bowl. We were also supposed to make this for Super Bowl as well. Kristen and I were going to go head to head to see who had the better dish. But unfortunately, we weren't able to do it. But that's okay. You guys, today, I'm going to go ahead and put those these ingredients together to make this apple pie nachos for you. So I'm going to show you guys what, it, uh, what the ingredients are, and we're going to go from there. Starting down below, we have two Granny Smith apples, which we're gonna need both of these. We have some cinnamon powder as well. We have some caramel, of course. You gotta get the Ghirardelli. Well, you, don't, you can get whatever you want, actually, but you know, this is the best one, I think. Uh, we got some butter right there we're gonna use. We got some sugar, and we have some whipped cream. And of course, the actual nacho chips are gonna be made from these Mission Flour tortillas, which I'm gonna chop up in just a moment and show you guys how to do it. So let's go ahead and get this started. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my knife so I can start getting chopping. So I'll see you guys in just a second. Okay, fam, before I continue, I do have to say something because you guys saw me chop that up. First off, I had a little bit of issue cutting it to begin with, but that's actually because we don't have a pizza cutter. Do you know why? Because Kristen threw it away. No, it broke. Oh. <laughs> and then I threw it away. Okay, I'm accusing Kristen for the wrong reason. <laughs> uh, we, <laughs> but yeah, she, uh, we pretty much got rid of it a while back, so we didn't have it. But as you saw, I cut it with the scissors. It worked, you know what? But the other problem that we actually have, and this is the biggest problem, you guys, I got the wrong size tortillas. These are jumbo tortillas or regular ones. You wanna get the smaller mini ones because then it's a lot easier to make nachos. These are gonna be grande nacho, apple pie desserts now. So <laughs> it is what it is, but we're gonna make it happen. So if you're gonna do that, I only use six of the tortillas, uh, not all eight. I'm sure it's to your discretion, however many you wanna use. Um, so let's go ahead, toss it in this bowl uh, and get this started, okay? Okay. So. I got this bowl right here. And I have some cinnamon powder as well. We got your butter, three fourths butter, and we have a whole cup of sugar, which is, I thought it was kind of excessive, but you know what? That's what the recipe asked for. So let's go ahead, take these, put them in here. Put them all in this bowl, these grande nachos, <laughs> which I'm not even sure how it's gonna look, but um, okay. And then let's go ahead, pour some butter. Once again, this is three fourths cup of butter. That's three fourths. Three fourths Oops. cup. Sorry, tablespoons. Three fourths. Three fourths of the um, what do you call those? Of the tablespoons. Of the stick, you mean? Yeah, of the stick. Okay, three fourths of the stick. Of the stick, exactly. Yeah, got it. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> Thank you for correcting me. <laughs> You're welcome. Now, if you're wondering what I'm doing, me too. 
<laughs> Pretty much, I saw this on the video. They were flipping this around, which by the way, I want to shout out uh, for this video, I want to shout out Tip Buzz. Tip Buzz provided the recipe for this. Um, they were the first recipe that popped up when I typed in apple nachos, and they look good. So, as soon as I'm finished with this, you guys are gonna agree. That it's gonna be amazing. Okay. So you're coating all so, of the chips in the butter. Exactly. That's exactly what I'm doing. I need to coat it because we need the sugar to stick and we need the cinnamon to stick. So, I think that's pretty good, huh? Yeah. Good to me. What do you think? Yeah. Next, we're gonna go ahead, put a whole cup of sugar in here. I pre-measured it out, so let's go ahead and do that. That's hella sugar. You think that's a lot? Yes. Are you serious? Oh my goodness. Would you say it's too much? Yes. I would absolutely agree with you. <laughs> I <that>. don't. <laughs> I'm a little, it said ask, it said the whole thing though. Well, I don't think it's all gonna stick. You know, I don't think it's gonna dissolve. I think it's gonna look really weird. But so now I'm gonna go ahead and put two teaspoons of ground cinnamon. I just checked it out. So let's go ahead, open that up. There's one teaspoon. Mix that all around. And teaspoon number two. I guess I could have that measured out too, but you know what? Wasn't thinking. Okay, let's go ahead and put this to the side and start mixing. Okay, got my two special objects to mix. <laughs> objects. <laughs> oh gosh. I saw they did something like this. <laughs> I just want to say. It's going to be a mess. I remember when you were like, this recipe is so easy. I did say that. You did. Do you disagree? Yeah, I feel like you. <laughs> I kind of disagree too. Okay guys, I'm back. Apparently my phone is completely out of storage, so now we're using Kristen's phone. So if it looks a little different, that's it does. absolutely It looks wild. a little more yellow, to be honest. I don't think you're gonna like uh, the color. It's okay. Okay, so yes, this is a little harder than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie about it, but you know what? It smells good. It does. It actually looks good, too. So let's go ahead, transfer all of these, or as many as we possibly can, onto this pan right here. So let's see what we can do. I mean, there's really not a lot of room. Okay guys, so we weren't able to put that many in here as you can see. Uh, we just don't have the, the pan space to actually do it. We gotta get actually a bigger pan. But also at the same time, you know, we made these grande tortillas. So I'm gonna actually cook all of these still, but I'm gonna cook them on different time period. I'm gonna cook it maybe some other time, a little later. But for now, let's go ahead and put these pans, or this pan in the oven. Now we do wanna bake it for at 400 degrees, and I believe you want it to go for about, you want it to go at 400 degrees, six minutes. So I'm gonna put this in the oven right now. We'll be back in just a moment. Okay guys, so while the chips are in the oven baking, let's go ahead, get our Granny Smith apples. We're gonna go ahead and chop them up. We're gonna add one fourth a cup of sugar, or a fourth a cup of sugar, sorry. Yeah, yeah you know what I mean, fourth a <laughs> cup of sugar. Uh, I forgot, we, there's actually lemon in this. So just a little bit of a squeeze of a lemon in there, juice of a lemon, and we're gonna do some ground cinnamon again. We're gonna do one, teaspoon of that, that's right, I'm sure of that now. One teaspoon. So let's go ahead and start this.
Okay guys, so uh, you go ahead and mix everything thoroughly through. Um, just in case I didn't put the info on there as far as uh, the ingredients, it was pretty much one tablespoon of cinnamon and a fourth of a cup of sugar. And then of course, just one squeeze of a quarter of a lemon and a, or you know, not one squeeze, the whole quarter. So um, this is fully mixed. I think it looks pretty good, guys. What do you think? Mm. Looks pretty good. Kristen, what do you think? Looks yummy. It's pretty good, right? Yeah. Now, you know, I did cut these in a way where, you know, the kind of like the bulky pieces, the long pieces, but I don't care. I'm gonna eat it just how it is. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead, check on, oh, still there's a few more minutes. So you know what? Let me go ahead and what are we doing? Do I have to cook the uh, apples? I do, but I want to take a look at that first. Okay, we'll wait for the uh, tortillas to be done. So then... wait for it to be done, because I j literally just put it in like two minutes ago. And uh, we'll go from there. So we'll see you guys in a second. Okay, you guys, so check that out. I just took it out of the oven. Those look nice and actually golden brown, kind of. Mm. I mean, I guess you can't really 100% tell because of the cinnamon, but trust me. It's golden brown. <laughs> it's okay. crispy. It's crispy. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these on this plate right here. Um, like I said, we weren't able to get a lot of the nachos on here, but that's okay. We're gonna do the best that we can. Ooh, these feel perfect. Yeah. So I actually let them go a little bit longer too. I let them go for seven minutes. Just cause, you know, just wanted a little extra crispiness in there. So let me see if I can easily do this. Cause as you can tell, I'm burning my fingers. Every single second, I'm trying to pull these things off. Man. Okay. Man, I wanted them to be like nice around the edges. Oh, bless you. Can you not ruin Thank my you. camera moment? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just teasing. Okay. Yay! So there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and put this to the side uh, for now. So here's what we're doing. We're almost there, you guys. Thank you for hanging in there. We're gonna do one last thing. We're gonna take these apples right here. I'm gonna go ahead and pan fry these right now. I'm gonna put them on a pan, saute them. Well, not saute. I guess, are you sautéing them? I don't know what it's called. I don't know what it's called either. Cooking them? We're gonna cook them. <laughs> <laughs> on a pan, on the oven. So go ahead. On the stove. On the stove. <laughs> you know, the oven's underneath. It's kind of on the oven, right? Yeah, it is on top of the oven. It is on top of the oven. The stove on top of the oven. Let's go ahead and do this right now. Okay, you guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and pan fry these apples. Um, it's asking for two tablespoons of butter. So let's go ahead and put that in there. Now, you guys, just so you know, I am known to burn a lot of stuff. <laughs> so hopefully I don't burn this butter. Um, I put it on, I had it on high to heat this thing up. And then I changed it to medium. So it looks like it was medium the whole time, but it's not. So let's go ahead and start there. And, uh, yeah, a lot of butter. It is a lot of butter. Now this pan, it's not the biggest pan either. You're probably wondering why. <laughs> <laughs> Kristen got rid of our big pans. <laughs> <laughs> and that's not because they were broken this time. Listen. That's because she threw them away. We need a new pan. We definitely did it, honestly. Shout out to your parents, by the way, because they hooked us up with these pans and pots and everything. Yes. You guys, these things are amazing. Yes, in case you're wondering, these pots and pans are Rachel Ray. Yep. Rachel Ray brand. Uh -huh. So shout out to mom and dad for the Christmas presents slash housewarming gifts. Absolutely. Okay, you guys, so we're gonna go ahead, saute these up a little bit, get them nice and brown. And we'll go from there. So how long do we cook these for? Don't know. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> it's a you, great question. You want to look at the rest? I should look. I'll be right back. <laughs> Saute until soft. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> so I just looked it up. That's what they said. You want them to be nice and soft. That way, you know, they're like uh, apple pie things. Mm. <laughs> Okay, so I went ahead, I made these really soft. Overall, it probably took about eh, seven, eight minutes or so on medium, so not too bad. I think for the most part, it's kind of gonna be up to you completely how soft you wanna make them. These are, these are pretty soft. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take this off the pan, maybe let it cool down for just a little bit, um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and pour it on the nachos, guys, and we're gonna try this out. 
So here is the final apples. They look nice, they look pretty soft. They're not too bad, actually. I wanna try it to like test how soft it is, but you know, that's what the sampling's gonna be for when we actually put it on. So let's go ahead. Um, as you can see down below here, we have the chips right here. We also have some whipped cream. We got some caramel or caramel, however you prefer to say that. Um, now I do wanna say that the recipe also asks for pecans. Kristen and myself are not big pecan fans, mainly Kristen. I just, but, uh, I'm, not a, I'm not a nut girl. I just realized I keep putting you on the spot all the time. You do. It is a joke, but I feel bad. <laughs> so I'll throw myself in there. I also don't like pecans. <laughs> Although it's not true, I love pecans. <laughs> Let me grab one. It's not else. like I don't like pecans. Just with desserts, I'm not a huge nut girl. Got it, got it. Okay, That's right. what it is. I agree with you. But you do like pecan pie, right? Yeah, it's okay. I like pecan pie. I've never been blown away. What? It's okay. Either. I just didn't grow up on it, you know? Yeah. But it's fine, it's not bad. Yeah, I guess I didn't really grow up on it either, but I like it a lot. Ooh. Okay, spread that all evenly, guys. You guys like the presentation? Nope. <laughs> if only you had this for the Super Bowl, guys. <laughs> You'd have been the talk of the town. It wouldn't have mattered if Cincinnati lost. People would have loved you no matter what. Okay, let me go ahead. Put that to the side. Let's go ahead and get this Ghirardelli caramel on here. Let's put it in there. Ooh. Put that all over there. Let's get it all on the side. <laughs> get it all up there. Ooh, look at that. Okay. I'm an artist with it. Okay. And for the final touch, the little ready, ready, ready whip. <laughs> The wedding rip. The wedding rip. <laughs> the wedding rip on here. Go ahead and put it on there. And voila! Ta-da! Look at that, guys. That looks amazing. It looks scrumptious. Does it not? It looks really good. That looks really good. It looks really good. So for the final question, how is this? Is it good? Is it bad? Is it decent? Well, I'm going to let Kristen try it first. Yay! She's gonna tell you guys how amazing it is and how much better it is than her dip, I think. <laughs> um, yeah, let's go ahead and try it out and see how it is. Okay. Okay, so what do you think? Let's have the real expert test this out, okay? <laughs> it looks pretty good. Oh my goodness, it does. Wow. Oh. Bless you. Excuse me. I love cinnamon. This looks really good. Look at that, you guys. Wow. How are the chips? Do they feel crispy? I feel crispy. Okay. Okay. There's only one way to find out how this is. Ready? Yep. One, two, three. <laughs> I know those eyes. I know those eyes. Those are the Crispin, Crispin eyes, Crispin. <laughs> is that good? Man, that kept going. I'm gonna talk for you. Jamil, you are the best chef that ever was, <laughs> ever will be, and ever can be. <laughs> wow. Is that good? Wow. Well, shout out to Tip Buzz for the recipe. Because. Ma'am. Looking at your face, I mean, this is. I'm actually very, very upset at the moment. Really? Why? <sighs> because. <laughs> Let me add a little bit of whip. Okay. Hold on. Wow. Okay. Ready? Yep, I'm ready. So you hear your analysis. It's a 10. What? It's a 10. A 10? It's so good. It's just not an 11. I know. <laughs> Listen, don't get ahead of yourself. <laughs> It's cinnamony, it's yep. sugary. Yep. Got the perfect crunch with that nacho chip. That's right. With this mushiness. I hear it. A little bit of tart with that um, apple. Yeah. But not too much, but a little bit of tart. Just enough. And <laughs> you're really annoying. And then that caramel just gives it that like extra caramel sweet to it, even though it's already sweet with the sugar. Yep. It's perfect. Really? It's perfect. And then a little more creaminess okay. when you add that whipped cream. Nice. You can't have any of this. Uh, you know what? I'm waiting for you to finish describing. It's literally <laughs> a 10. Wow. Okay. Do you want to try it? What was yours? 
<laughs> I gave mine a nine. I know, but this come on. Ten. This is obviously dessert. You can't go wrong with dessert. So. That's a ten. You want to try it? Yeah, let's try it. Okay. Apparently, I get sloppy seconds now. <laughs> Kristen left kind of a mess. No, it's not that bad. I like Actually, did pretty good. Here we go. I'm so excited to try this. Ooh, it looks really good. Here we go. Hmm. You were lying. <laughs> I know. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I got the crystal eyes going. I know, right? Tell, tell me, what are your thoughts? It's just like apple pie. Yeah. It tastes like, kind of like the apple pies that you get, the hostess ones in the green package. It kind of tastes like that. But better. Those ones are pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> the hostess ones are pretty good. This tastes like a lesser version of it, but still very good. Adding more whip. Oh yeah, the whipped cream makes Isn't it. Isn't the whipped cream really good? It really is. And the caramel. Ooh, look at that bite. I'm going all in on that one. Mm. Get it, mm -mm. get it. Mm. I poked myself. <laughs> Tortilla went through my my lip. <laughs> Your cheek. My cheek. Oh. <laughs> wow. You know what I like about these? What? The apples taste nice and fresh because mm -hmm. they are, of course. Mm -hmm. The caramel, like you said, just adds that extra just element to it. I think without the caramel, this would be a nine, but it just gives it that extra step where it is a ten. This really is a ten, guys. This is amazing. I know Super Bowl's gone, but there's parties, there's birthdays, Christmas eventually will be here again, Thanksgiving, you guys got to make these. You got to make these. These are 10. Yeah. Hands down. And I didn't want you to make this recipe. Mm -hmm. Remember? Mm -hmm. I, remember. I was like, babe, it's a dessert. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't do a dessert. Mm -hmm. All day. All day. All day, you guys. Mm -hmm. Get you some of these apple nachos. Mm -hmm. they have. I think... Even just the um, nacho with itself, without anything, tastes really good. That's good by itself. Okay, you guys. Let me know what you think of these, these chips. Let me know if you want to try these out. The recipe is down below. Shout out once again to Tip Buzz for the recipe. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Our next video, let us know what you think below. Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Sharing is caring. Let the KJ fam know what the people are doing. I don't know. What are we <laughs> Let talking about? Let your friends and family know <laughs> what the KJ fam is doing. And until next time, we hope you have a wonderful day, evening, or night. Whatever time it is out there, we will see you in our next video. Mm -hmm. Peace. Bye. Peace out, Trouts.